these customs officials at Orly Airport are on the lookout after the arrival of a flight from Guyenne in French Guiana. Do you live in Guyana? No, I live in France. OK, what is your reason for travel? Family. Anything to declare? No. The passenger is subject to a routine pat-down and bag check, and the customs official spots something odd. Something's up with the shoes. There's a white mass in them, about 500 grams. The suspect is ushered away into a smaller side room. The packet is weighed, clocking in at 623 grams, and its contents tested for cocaine. The solution turns from pink to blue, meaning it's tested positive for the illicit drug. You're being detained by customs. Please sit back down. This man is suspected of being a drug mule. As many as one in four passengers on flights from Cayenne try to smuggle in drugs in exchange for cash. We have two flights from Cayenne per day, and each time we detain people. Pretty much every day. Most mules are male in their late 20s, often French. But we also have people from Suriname, Brazil, and the Netherlands. A third of them have ingested drug packets. The people transporting the drugs swallow plastic capsules like these. If they leak, the smuggler could die of an overdose. Once we arrested a mother with two girls, aged 11 and 15, who had swallowed 40 pellets of cocaine between them. The same day, officials also intercepted seven kilos of the stimulant packed away in this suitcase. They'd been hidden in a false bottom. The drug traffickers have hidden cocaine in walnuts, fish and tins. On the other side of the Atlantic, French Guiana is seen by cocaine traffickers in South America as a key way of getting the controlled substance into France and, by extension, Europe. There aren't enough customs officials in the overseas department, but they do what they can arresting 512 mules at the airport in Cayenne, adding up to a tonne and a half of cocaine seized. Police also try to crack down on the trade by stopping the manufacture of the pellets in the first place. Look over there, for example. That's where we confiscated over four kilos of cocaine. We were chasing after a suspect in a number of theft cases. We caught him making pellets, using the machine, with two bricks of cocaine next to him. He was making them for drug mules. This night of patrol didn't bear fruit. But drug traffickers know recruiting people here is easy, as most locals live below the poverty line. When people need money and they can't work because they're undocumented or don't want to, it's easy to be paid to jump on a plane and transport drugs. The mules stand to earn around 5,000 euros. Wherever there is poverty and people left to fend for themselves, they become targets. This reformed drug mule says he turned to drug smuggling in an attempt to pay off his crippling debts and provide for his child. If you want to smuggle drugs, it's actually not that hard. We have contacts in uh, Suriname, in Mexico, kind of everywhere. There's a big network. He says he was paid up to 16,000 euros to transport 800 grams of cocaine into mainland France. He ended up being arrested and sent to prison. I opened my eyes. In prison, I realized this can't be my life. I can't carry on like this. I have a family, a little girl. If I want her to have a good childhood, then she needs her dad. A charity is helping Paul Lux reintegrate back into society after his release, and he secured a job at a hardware store.